How's it going, everybody? This is Juan Galt with Coin Olympics, and uh, boy, do I have a story for you guys. Um, ASIC Boost, you've probably been hearing about it. You probably have no idea quite what it is, uh, other than that perhaps it's some sort of uh, either malicious or fair game uh, mining uh, innovation, which lets a undisclosed uh, ASIC manufacturer get 30%, 20-30% more energy efficiency when producing Bitcoin, which means they can make like 20-30% more profits, right? Now, when I say undisclosed, I say this because Gregory Maxwell, the guy who put forth this theory that that's what's the, uh, like basically popularized the current ASIC boost kind of uh, meme is that he said like the a mainstream ASIC manufacturer, but they didn't disclose it. But everybody knows it's, it's Bitmain, or at least everybody believes it's Bitmain. And Bitmain came out with a um, an article uh, refuting allegations and accusations, but admitted that they have implemented this this sort of um, ASIC boost innovation into their mining hardware, even though they have not used it in their own mining pool. That's what they said, and so. Why does all this matter? Well, because according to Gregory Maxwell and Sergio Lerner, who's another sort of heavyweight kind of engineer and cryptographer type of guy, um, Gregory Maxwell is with Bitcoin Core um, and ProSegwit, Sergio, Mar Sergio Lerner, I'm not sure where he stands on, on the kind of current politics of Bitcoin, but he seems to be fairly neutral. Uh, he's behind uh, R RSK or Ro Rootstock. I actually interviewed him on this YouTube channel if you check below. Uh, maybe a year and a half ago or so. Anyways, he seems pretty neutral and he also says that ASIC boost, this sort of innovation, using it covertly is incompatible with both SegWit and SegWit plus two megabytes. So basically the theory is, the reason why ASIC boost matters is because it seems to be incompatible with um, upgrades to the scalability of Bitcoin. And that's a huge thing. Not only that, but it, it creates, like it, it's been if the theory is correct, it's been used covertly by Bitmain, which could explain why, according to some, and I've heard this, 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 this number at least twice, I think, from high reputable sources, everybody seems to pretty much believe that this is the case. Bitmain has like 80% of the, of the market right now as far as ASIC production. If you don't know what an ASIC is, probably any or none of that made sense, but basically a, a, a specialized Bitcoin mining hardware, okay? So... If ASIC boost is covert, using it covertly, like secretly, if using ASIC boost covertly is incompatible with SegWit and a SegWit Plus, 2 megabytes, and a variety of other innovations, then that would explain why Bitmain, the biggest mining manufacturer, has been acting against SegWit in opposition to most of the most reputable engineers in the space. Okay? So that would basically mean that they've been just playing delay, play, stalling development of Bitcoin, the, the upgrade of it, Bitcoin, in order to profit from ASIC boost. And uh, uh, apparently, it's it's the numbers that are being sort of uh, put out there is a hundred million dollars a year extra profit just from ASIC covert ASIC boost, right? So this would be a clear path to building a an ASIC manufacturing monopoly. It may have something to do with why KNC went bust. KNC was another competitor to, to Bitmain. I have no idea. I haven't followed that story. Just wild speculation on my part on that side. But um, it certainly explains a lot of things. And that's why there's a Bitcoin rally right now. That's why, like, if you check that the moment that, that Gregory Maxwell updated, put that ASIC boost uh, paper on the development list, pretty much around that time, the price just went poof, right? I guess you're looking at it like this, we went like, right? And um, so this is basically the ASIC boost rally. And does that mean that, well, why is that important again? Because it, now, why is that move having that effect on the price? Well, the reason seems to be in this atone base argument is that because now we have clarity about why Bitmain is acting against Bitcoin Core, why it seems like they're acting irrationally, right? Now that there's clarity about the market, then the price, people can start making their choices and it thinks people are supporting SegWit. Now, what does that mean for Bitcoin Unlimited? Well, Bitcoin Unlimited is, um, 
<laughs> it's kind of in, a, in an, an awkward position and they still have a minority of support in the note count. Their note count has actually also gone down in the past few days, right, or maybe like week or so. I don't know actually, I haven't checked the exact number, but the last tail of the chart, the, their, their, their popularity has gone down as far as, uh, I believe it's uh, node sort of signaling and stuff. So anyways, Bitcoin Limited is definitely not, doesn't seem to be making more ground than it was before. It seems like the uptrend that they were on has sort of stalled. And um, basically because now we understand the behavior of Bitmain. Um, at least we think we do, okay? Uh, does that mean that Roger Ver knew about this covert ASIC boost? Does that mean that Bitcoin Unlimited people knew about it? Does that mean that the, the big blockers are a big conspiracy to centralize Bitcoin? Well, that's not clear, and I think it's more likely that Bitmain, uh, Jihan Wu and the sort of Bitmain people were simply playing the bit blocker ideology and just sort of like, yeah, yeah, totally. Satoshi's vision is with Bitcoin Unlimited. Yeah, man. Uh, just, you know, SegWit is bad, right? And um, now the question, there's a few sort of questions that remain unanswered to my mind, uh, which would bring better evidence and sort of solidity to this. One of them is, is Bitcoin Unlimited incompatible with covert uh, ASIC boost? Or is it compatible? The argument is probably like like if this theory is correct, then it should be like BO, Bitcoin Limited should be compatible with covert ASIC boost. Um, another question is is there actual evidence of ASIC boost being used by miners like Antpool or any other sort of Bitcoin big Bitcoin mine, right? Uh, did Roger Ver know about covert ASIC boost and is it part of the strategy for the mind that apparently Roger Ver and McAfee, <laughs> I know it's like out of a movie, and McAfee are putting together with Bitmain in China, right? I mean, if, 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 <laughs> if McAfee and Roger Ver got played by Bitmain, that's terrible under, under their credibility and, and like public perception of their judgment calls, okay? Now, perhaps to some people that's not surprising because Roger Ver's reputation and McAfee's reputation has certainly been shaky in the past uh, maybe a few months. So, you know, idea, ideology can blind people, let's just say that, right? And, and sometimes you got to be real sort of skeptical and neutral. And, uh, you know, the Chinese, uh, they, they go with the flow, you know? The Chinese, like Western virtues philosophy, like Western culture as far as like how we like what the, our definitions of honor may be different than the Chinese definitions of honor and so this cultural clashes and games can be played perhaps that's another theory the Chinese are a lot more like yeah 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 they're, like they're willing to 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 play you and they expect you to know that you're playing them that they're playing you right whereas perhaps uh aware, you know westerners are have higher expectations of sort of honesty and 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 being sort of you know forward about what's important right i don't know that's another theory but that's that's a big claim on on chinese culture that i'm not willing to back or defend i'm just saying like this is this is something that's been popularized as well so it's definitely an interesting one um so there you have it that's the bitcoin rally right if there's any major evidence that would sort of diffuse this asic boost covert asic boost theory then now Gregory Maxwell look, would look quite bad and manipulative, right? So this is a very important moment in this whole debate because now there's a kind of a clincher, right? Like further evidence that will come will either show one or two sides, Bitcoin Limited, Bitcoin people as deceitful or with not good enough sort of instinct and judgment or will reveal Bitcoin Core and, and Greg Maxwell and all of them as just chills and... and, and you know, just manipulative, right? At least Gregory Maxwell's sort of argument against Bitmain and stuff. And, and so, this is a critical moment. Uh, I am uh, betting on ASIC boost theory being good for the next three, four weeks. I've sold a bunch of my altcoins. A lot of them, I mean, most of the altcoins right now are in a straight sort of, you know, price fall, including Dash. And um, I'm just betting on a few ones that, are, that could potentially hedge upwards. Um, so yeah, Ethereum is kind of on the verge of either going up or down dramatically. So um, 
interesting stuff. Yeah. Let me know what you think below. Let me know if this is good. And uh, you have an awesome day.